to the city of San Diego has also opened up its emergency operations center ahead of the potential rain from her, uh, uh, Hurricane Hillary. And our Alani Latang is inside with the preparations that are going on there. Alani. Andrew Maria, good afternoon. So we're here inside the Emergency Operations Center where they're operated on a level three right now. So that means they're tracking the storm here and they're also setting up. Let me show you guys these vests here. These are vests that says, this one says situation uh, status units. There's ones that say recover units and these are already in place for people to come should that storm advance and get more uh, serious here. So there's different sections around here. As you can see, there's logistics, there's planning, there's financial. Um, there are groups, as you see, in each personnel ready to be a support system. So that's what this emergency operations center is, is a uh, support system. So, for example, if the city's fire department calls and says, I need 200, uh, I need a shelter for 200 people who are being evacuated for a flooding, then they will go and reach out to the EOC, their department. Um, we also spoke with the executive director. He's here today, and he says people need to take the situation seriously, such as adjusting their plans, and they also said that sandbags are suggested. I would say go back to the winter and look at what impact the flooding had during the winter to you. It's a good place to start because most likely you're going to see that same impact. I'd encourage you to access the information that's out there. Be aware that the storm's coming. And the director also said we need to be taking this seriously, although it's very sunny outside, just really preparing yourself. So again, those sandbags and then having a plan uh, to adjust your plans if needed. And also um, we were told that Every day they get a briefing from the National Weather Service, so they'll get one tomorrow, and that's where they can further clarify how um, impactful the storm is and then if they need to bring in more support people. Reporting live from inside the San Diego City, Ando, City of San Diego's Emergency Operations Center, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. All right, so much to track, uh, certainly in the days to come here. Alani, thank you.